Hi everyone, it's Christina from thediymommy.com and it's a one room challenge time again. Today I wanna to share with you what space I am going to attempt to make over and it's my biggest one room challenge yet. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thanks so much for popping by again. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the beautiful and encouraging and fantastic comments you've left on my videos over the past week. I am just loving doing fall decor and hopefully giving you some ideas and inspiration for your own fall decor and I'm so happy to see that you're enjoying it too. It is that time again, one room challenge time and if you are a subscriber to my channel and you've been following along over the past year and a half-ish or so, you'll know exactly what that is. If you don't know, this is a challenge put on by a blogger called Calling It Home and she hosts this challenge twice a year, so in spring and fall and I've been doing this this is my fourth time I've been doing the challenge now. So I did a spring, a fall, a spring, and now I'm doing the fall challenge again. So uh, my first one, I made over my daughter's bedroom. The second one, I made over our master bedroom. The third one, I made over our sitting room space into a dining room space. And this one is my biggest one room challenge attempt yet. I am going to be making over, or basically making my parents' beautiful master bedroom in their lake house. You might remember my mom's lake house series. I haven't updated it in quite some time because the process has been a little bit slower than we had hoped, but it's going to be amazing once it's done. And I think all of this extra time and effort is going to be 100% worth it. Their house is so pretty. You might have seen my last video on Mom's Lake House where I showed you an update of the exterior. And we are going to make over their master bedroom first so they can move right in there and enjoy. So basically the premise of this challenge is that all of us bloggers who are involved have to make over a room over the course of six weeks. So it is super super tight. Uh, the timeline is rather crazy, and especially for this room because it's basically at the stud stage right now. So here's how this room looks right now. Actually, this week we have some professional drywallers in that are drywalling the space. So essentially, me and my parents and my husband are going to take this room from the stud stage to the drywall stage and then to the completion stage. I'm gonna share more of kind of the details and the layout and things like that in a future video and a future blog post. You might have already seen this mood board idea on my blog this week if you're following along or my social media channels. But here's kind of the general feel that we're going to get for this space. It's going to be a rustic traditional master bedroom space. So a lot of it's gonna be quite neutral but we're going to have like those really beautiful driftwood tones. The floor is kind of a really really beautiful like beachy whitewashed laminate flooring and then we're going to be working with the brick again I'm so excited that they're sponsoring this project again uh, we're going to have some gorgeous kind of driftwood look nightstands we already have a bed that we're going to use just a really traditional looking white bed I'm also incredibly excited that stickwood is back again and they're also going to be sponsoring this makeover they are going to be providing some Hampton stickwood this is peel and stickwood that we're going to put on the the gorgeous vaulted ceiling of this space. I cannot wait for this. It's like um, a more of a white version than what I have in my bedroom. So it's gonna look kind of like shiplap, like Joanna Gaines style shiplap on this vaulted ceiling. So I seriously can't wait. It's gonna be so much work, but it's gonna just look gorgeous. Um, and also build.com has stepped in and sponsored this makeover as well with just a beautiful beaded chandelier. It's kind of like farmhouse meets lake house and I can't wait to show you that here. So here is the general mood board for the space. Mostly neutrals, driftwood and white, but then we're also going to have pops of forest green and some florals just to kind of bring it into fall and just to add some life and color into the space. That's the mood board. That's the before pictures of the space. And I would like to hear now from you. What would you do to this room to make it look like a lake house master bedroom retreat? I would love to hear from you. I always like to hear your ideas. I could maybe incorporate some of them if uh, there's some that kind of jive with what we're going for for this space. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are in the know. You get the notifications notifications as soon as I post a new video. I'll be posting once a week from now until mid-November and I guess we'll all see how this goes if we can finish it in the six-week period and how it looks 
at the end and I can't wait to share that with you guys and I hope you're excited to follow along with me, my mom, my dad, and my husband as we make over the space. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned on this one room challenge and see all my other videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.